So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 22nd React JS tutorial in which I'm just gonna improve a little bit of looks of how this board looks. So what we can do is first of all these borders bother me a lot. So what we have in here square right so we can do something like uh, this is square three yeah okay so if i play around a little i guess i need to get this one bigger now uh what this is three n three n i guess uh, yeah, I'm gonna say bottom right zero. Fair enough. And uh, then what we have three and plus one, bottom left zero. Okay, now for these two, I guess we need to hard code them. And uh, how we do that is nth child zero border top zero. It's nth child one actually. It's not zero index. Uh, rather one two three. There we go. And similarly, we need. Uh, uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Ah, but we do not need bottom top zero for those. Okay, so we're gonna just leave it like that, and we're just gonna copy this again, paste it here. Border bottom is zero, and we're gonna say this is seventh, this is eighth, and this is finally ninth. There we go. Now the board looks much cleaner. So if I copy this, paste it right here, and just bring the width again. Yeah, so that kind of looks like a tic tac toe board now. And again, we can just get rid of these. Okay, looks cool. But uh, we still get this X and this O at some weird place. So inside a square again, we can just hit a display flex justify content center because centering vertically centering was never so easy before flexbox. And there we go. Hey, it it just I don't know, it just did not even reload the page, it just changed the CSS. That's pretty cool, right? So you can just kind of work and update CSS and it would not actually change your HTML. Wow, that's great. Okay. Now we can just make it a little bigger font size 20 pixels. 30. Um, 45. Yeah, okay. That looks good. And... Uh, what else we got? We can make it uh, uh, look like a pointer. And I'm able to select these. I do not want that. So we can just do that. User select. None. And there we are. So it kind of looks like a game now. And uh, you can also do something like square over background something like that to add a little bit of interactivity you know it's up to you again what you can do is that you can just customize this color of x and o inside your script so that uh, the board knows to color x as red and o as blue you know there are a lot of things you can do to this but that is how pretty much you make a game like this and again we need to do something if the match draws right so what we can say is uh, return 
or we can say rather if this dot state dot total moves is equal to nine that being said that being said that means that uh, the match has pretty much drawn because if somebody has won earlier then we the code would not arrive here so we can just simply return draw and we can say else if or you do not need any else if their result is equal to draw we can say this dot state set state uh, game and it is true and the winner is uh, draw right and uh, finally we can create something like uh, uh, div id div id status here and we can say um, this dot state dot uh, or rather we can say yeah this dot state dot winner win a line and we can say here when a line is matches drawn when a line match one by o and when a line match one by x right uh, let's just see how this looks like. So you can see we get match one by x, and again, since we are not quitting the game, we would be able to go ahead with this O, but uh, our status does not update. Well, that's the kind of thing we would want, but uh, this should not be allowed, right? When the game's over, it should automatically reset. So yeah, you can do that yourself. And yeah, that is all pretty much how you create a very basic tic-tac-toe game with React.js. And that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I'll just put all the code for this game on my form. And I'll just paste the link in the description so you can just download it. And uh, play around and mess around and do some editing and post it back on the form for the community to see. And that is all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.